Hey guys, what's up? It's Andrew Matthew back again with another video. I've been getting questions asking which recording app is better, MC Pro 24 FPS or Motion Cam? I love both these apps because they really bring out the best in Android cameras, and as someone who mostly makes videos for a living, I need them both for different things. So the typical answer is, they're both good but for different reasons. And in this video, I'll be talking about the 5 things to consider when choosing between Motion Cam and MC Pro 24 FPS. There are 5 major factors that decide which app I choose for what video. Quality, frame rate, file size, workflow, and reliability. If quality is your priority, then there's no debating that Motion Cam wins hands down. MC Pro 24 FPS may come in second, but it's nowhere near the level of quality Motion Cam has. If I need my video to look pro or I'm planning to do a lot of heavy grading during post, Motion Cam is my default choice. But sometimes I need to shoot in 60 FPS for slow motion, and this is where MC Pro 24 FPS shines for me. While Motion Cam can record in 60 FPS on my S22 Ultra, I can barely get it to shoot for more than one minute before getting massive frame drops. And even if you could record in 60 frames per second raw, you might not want to, because file sizes are huge on Motion Cam. If you're not the type of person who routinely clears out your storage, working with Motion Cam is going to be a nightmare, especially if you don't have at least 200 gigabytes of free space. A 10 second 4K video in Motion Cam could easily take up a whopping 1 gigabyte of storage. In comparison, the same video in MC Pro 24 FPS, while still large, only takes a measly 120 megabytes. Unless you've been creating content for a while, it's understandable that you won't have the resources to work with raw videos. If time is critical to your workflow, then it'll be much faster to manage and edit footage recorded using MC Pro 24 FPS because it records like any other mainstream mirrorless camera. Unlike Motion Cam where you'll have to decide whether you want to export your footage in MP4, ProRes, Cineform, or Cinema DNG before you can even use the videos. Reliability in the case of Motion Cam and MC Pro 24 FPS is mainly about frame drops. You might notice sometimes your videos come out with some jitter or lag. These are frame drops. The more frame drops you have, the worse your footage will stutter. Frame drops can happen because your phone is overheating, CPU is throttling, an app is running in the background, or there's not enough storage. Almost anything can be cause for a frame drop. And because Motion Cam is such a powerful tool, it's a perfect storm when it comes to random frame drops. It's really a miracle that this app even exists and it works. All this to say, if I needed to shoot a long video without a camera operator, I would be in constant fear that my footage will come out unusable. For this reason, whenever I need to shoot, for example, a 20 minute non-stop video interview, I'd rather be safe with MC Pro 24 FPS than sorry with Motion Cam. But that's not to say it won't change in the future. I'm very optimistic about Motion Cam's progress, and I think one day it will be the go-to Pro Tool for mobile filmmaking. Let me share some examples of videos I've made using both apps. Hour days, I just landed in Oakland. Coyote Hills and Raph Simmons out in the open. Coke and rum with Kayla and Brittany, nothing's hopeless. But access is restricted based on who you be knowing. I was dreaming of Gucci back when girls had the cooties. Getting crossed, now these subies complimenting the movies. PR Moss, we experiment for a righteous movement. Motion picture delusions can be true if you choose it. I made a promise. But anyway, that's how I choose which app I need for what kind of video. If you're still confused and undecided, Here's a rule of thumb, use MC Pro 24 FPS if you need to work fast and Motion Cam if you have the resources to take advantage of raw video. At the end of the day, whichever you choose is less important than the content you make with it. So choose whichever helps you create. 
And if you liked the video or found it useful, consider subscribing or giving me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. Peace.